enemy because it's uh, it looks nice for me to stand here before you you needed to see me when I got rescued I was uh, I was manhandled I was ruffled I was tortured name it it's 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 it's, it's horrible where this country is driving at it's horrible because these gentlemen shot for like one hour on the road until policemen arrived and they ran away and they took us inside the bush from Thursday to this morning and that, well I want to use the opportunity to um, appreciate the police because the pressure they gave them led into them letting us go because if there was no pressure they would have had a field day why am I saying this? Because when we were held there, we were put in a swamp. We slept in a swamp with all manner of insects and reptiles. And we were moving us, we moved like 30 kilometers inside the jungle where nobody has treaded upon. They were comfortable there. They had very dangerous firepower. Ammunitions, name it. They had sacks and sacks of life ammunition. But the moment we saw police uh, helicopter, that descended very low, right above our heads. The criminals, um, the kidnappers, took to their heels and hit at some point, and they started becoming, uh, they started being erratic. You know, they knew that some people were on their trail. I also want to use this vein as well to appreciate the uh, local uh, vigilante group or hunters. They were always coming out there to nose around. We used to see them, but they, they couldn't, there are some areas they couldn't get to because they thought there was no human being there. But that is where we were. Who abducted you? Are they his name? Well, from the looks, I can give you the only information because there are some things I can't say because of it's a bit sensitive. Because the police are on the matter now, or is on the matter, but there are some sensitive areas I can't touch for sake of not uh, destroying uh, evidence or investigation or impeding it. Okay? Um, from the language they spoke, they are pure Fulani headsmen. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. I wouldn't want to go further, but I'll leave it at that. Did they tell you why you are abducted? They don't know me. I don't know them. I was in a bus. I was in a car going to Lagos. They just, they were, in fact, they told us they had no business with us. But the car they were shooting at drove away. They rid of the car with bullets. But the guy managed to go with two tires. And they turned back and descended on us. They picked us randomly. We never knew them from Adams. They just said their bullets will not go to waste. They needed somebody to pay for the bullets. And they took us. Are you aware if your family member paid ransom at any, at, at any point? I can't go there. Why, why are you giving food? Uh, what kind of food? Why are you, giving? you don't expect them to give you food, would you? <laughs> <laughs> you what what would you be doing with the food? Did they offer you? Did they offer How can you? they offer you food, brother? You are in a dilemma. You are between the devil and the deep blue sea. You are looking for food. No, not food. What if the food is you poison? Do. You don't do. You can't do that, gross. You don't do. You don't do. Your name again. Your name My name is Chemela James Yeroha. My father is the late Green Gory James Yeroha. Okay. What do you do?